Hey loves, so this is going to be another beauty on a budget makeup tutorial. So the first thing that I did apply to my eyelids is not like really expensive, but it is the Mica Beauty Eyeshadow Primer, which I absolutely love. I highly suggest it. If you're going to pay for anything expensive, then make sure it's that. The next item that I just put on my eye was a Sedona Little Miss Grace Eyeshadow Palette, which is vibrant colors. I like the brown in it because it's a great transition color. Though I like to use my L'Oreal too. Now I'm going to be using the LA Colors 12 Eyeshadow Palette which was $1.99 on iKate House and I'll post the information below. I'm going to take that matte color medium brown and sweep it in the crease of my eyelids just to give myself a more of a transition color. I love this eyeshadow palette. It was $1.99 and it's worth way more than that. The color does pay off really well. Now to the LA Girls Brick Beauty Bar, which is a 12 eyeshadow color, which reminds me of the Naked Palette 3. I'm gonna take that shimmery kind of blackish purple, I'm not really sure of the color, and I'm gonna sweep that into the crease of my eyelids, as well as apply some more of my eyeshadow primer, because, well, I guess I dusted a lot of eyeshadow on it. But I'm gonna go back into that palette and use like this very kind of pinkish shimmer color which I think is a very pretty color. I like this palette a lot because for one, it was $5.99 on iKateHouse.com and it's really inexpensive. You can get like loads of different looks with this palette. Now just to give my eye a great transition, I did use my pressed powder and I'm gonna now use that black in the LA Colors um, eyeshadow palette. There are different eye colors, are different colors to this palette actually and they're like vibrant colors, very neonish colors, but for $1.99, you cannot beat that. So with that sparkly black, I'm gonna just put that into the crease of my eyes and make like an outer V with it. And this brush that I'm using is actually my Sedona Lace Brush, which I love. I highly recommend any of their makeup brushes. They are like the best in the world. I've had them for like quite some years and I have never ever been disappointed by them. They're really inexpensive and they are great dupes to any high-end brush. Now I'm just going to take some more of that L'Oreal pressed powder that I use in the color cocoa and streamline that across my eyes and as well for brow highlight I'm going to take like that MAC eggshell off-white color in my Brick Beauty bar which is by LA Girls um, eyeshadow palette and just sweep that and kind of blend it into my eyelids. I don't want any harsh lines so you want to make sure that you blend it in. So the look is coming along well. Um, it probably really doesn't look like it on camera but it really is coming along well. Now I'm just gonna take one of my Milani eyeliners and this is in the color navy. I'm just going to sweep that over my lid right there and kind of give myself a winged eye look. Now first of all this eyeliner is not that dark. It's not as pigmented as I would like it to be. So sometimes what I do is I'll put my LA Colors liquid eyeliner over top of it just to make it appear a, a darker color. Now one of my favorite products which I highly suggest is the Benefits Pore Professional um, Facial Cream. This is just helps minimize your pores and it's also a great primer for your foundation. I'm just going to go back in and touch my eyelids just up a little bit because I didn't notice I needed a little touch up. Now this is the LA Girls Pro BB Cream and I'm in the color medium deep. I could use medium as well, but this is really inexpensive. I think this was $4.99 on iKate House. Now I'm one who loves to mix their foundation up, so I do use Mary Kay foundation and I'm going to go ahead and mix that up and just apply it with my Sedona Lace Flat Buffer Brush, which I love. I have two of these. This is a great brush set. You can buy a brush set, you can buy them individual. I would just buy the entire brush set because for real ladies, they are some really great brushes indeed. Now to just blend my makeup or my foundation in and to give it a seamless look, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender sponge and I'm just going to dab that on and I'm then going to go ahead and use the LA Girls Pro Concealer in the yellow corrector. This is like the first time for me using this and I really wanted to see what it was about because I do like some of their concealers. This was I think $2.49 at iKateHouse.com. You do get free shipping once you spend over $39. But ladies, trust me, you would probably spend over $39 and, and still get free shipping. They have loads of great cosmetics there on the really cheap price and it's brands like drugstore brands and things of that nature which are really great.
away. I did go ahead and apply that yellow concealer to my eyelid area and I just blended it in with my Beauty Blender sponge and I'm also using my Mary Kay Matte Wear Time Wise Foundation in the color beige 4. I do use this as a contour because it's lighter than my skin plus it's full coverage as also it stays on throughout the entire day. It does not seep into my skin, it doesn't sweat off, it doesn't crease, I love it. Old fashioned is what I am and I love Fashion Fair foundation stick. This is one of my favorite foundations to use as a contour because of the color is like a nice pretty chocolatey brown plus the consistency is just what I like when contouring. Using like a creamy foundation is really great for contouring because it makes it a lot more easier to spread onto your face or rather to beat your face with and to blend into your skin. You always want to make sure to use kind of like a concealer underneath that contour just to brighten and highlight your cheekbones. That makes your cheekbones stand up and makes them more noticeable. But I do love the Beauty Blender sponge for all type of things. I do like to use it as my contour and my highlight as well. Now just to set my makeup, I did use some of my Ben Nye Banana Powder, which I'm still trying to get the Sasha Cosmetics one, which is Buttercup. So I guess I'll just go ahead and order that. One of my favorite drugstore um, mascaras, I think it was Maybelline that I used. I like the wand of this brush because it's very big and it gets an even coat to mostly all your eyelashes. And I do like to use it on my bottom lashes as well as one of my favorite lash mascara lashes is the Benefit, which I did use and switch out just now. I love that one for the bottom and lower lashes. I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose just a little bit. And this is a different Sedona brush, but it is kind of the same. But I like to use that as my contouring brush for my nose area. And then one of my great favorite tools is the Eco Tools Kabuki brush, which you can pick up at your local beauty supply store or drugstore. And I did use the Nika K Press Facial Powder, which is $4.99 at iCade House. Along with that, I'm going to be using some of Fergie's line from the Wet n Wild line. And I did use the bronzer to just bring out my cheeks and the highlighter just to set off the temples or just basically the sockets of my eye, my nose bridge, as well as my forehead area. This um, blush that I'm using here was actually only a dollar and it was from Shop Miss A. It's a really great blush. It's kind of like a peachy coral color and it's by Santa Fe as well as the matte lipstick is by NYX and this is buttercream and you can get that from iKate House as well where they have loads of LA girls. So time to put on my hair and yes you ladies it is the purple and gray silver gray grape hairstyle which I constructed and created myself using BHF Cosar extensions and their pre-dyed hair. So, in that case, all the information will be for you guys below. I hope to see you in my next video, and stay diva and divalicious. Bye.